In this problem, a uniform solid cylinder of radius r rolls over a horizontal plane passing into an inclined plane forming an angle alpha with the horizontal. Find the maximum value of the velocity v0 which still permits the cylinder to roll onto the inclined plane section without a jump. The sliding is assumed to be absent. So this is performing pure rolling on this horizontal plane and also while there is some transition it is having contact, it is maintaining the contact and there is no jump while this transition is happening. So <clears throat> I am drawing the diagram when it is crossing, when it is in the duration of crossing this transition. So its diagram we can draw like. when it is just raised at this location. Center is just above this point and suppose it has now slightly rotated like this. When it is slightly rotated like this, let us again draw a diagram. Its center will go like this and reach somewhere here. and it will become something like this. Suppose it has rotated by angle theta and the forces acting at this moment will be, we are assuming that and it is given that there is no slipping. So at this contact, no slipping is maintained. Here the velocity of center was V0, it was moving with V0 and suppose when center has risen here, it is moving as it is this point can be taken as can be treated as instantaneous axis rotation. So it is going like this with velocity v. So it is in pure rotation about this point, this instantaneous point. Forces acting are normal reaction, it will go like this and one force is mg. Now since th the center is in pure rotation about this point, it is rotating about this point. So, yeah, of course, there will be some friction also, friction in this direction. So, friction will be tangential and this is in normal direction and this angle is also theta. Since the center is performing the pure rotation about this instantaneous point, so we can write the equation of circular motion along this normal direction. So along this normal direction component of mg will be mg cos theta. So we can write mg cos theta minus normal reaction this is equal to mv square by r and this normal reaction is mg cos theta minus mv square by r. Now we can see that as the cylinder is rotating, theta is increasing. As theta is increasing, then mg cos theta is decreasing. So this term is decreasing as theta increases. And mv square by r, velocity. This velocity is increasing as it is rotating like this since friction, there is no sliding and energy is conserved. There is loss in gravitational potential energy, center of mass is going down and velocity is increasing. Since velocity is increasing, mv square by r is increasing, but this is with the negative sign. So this term is increasing. So overall effect, overall effect we can say that normal is decreasing. And since normal is decreasing and there is minus sign in between, normal can be zero also at some particular value of theta. And we want that normal should not be zero or negative that the contact should al always be maintained. If it is maintained for maximum value of theta, then we can say that it will cross this transition without a jump and maximum value of theta is equal to alpha when it has rotated like this and this angle is alpha. So maximum value of theta will be alpha and for alpha, 
if contact is maintained then it will always maintain the contact we can solve for critical value since we required what maximum value of v not we can have for no jumping so for critical situation for a critical condition we can see that theta max is equal to alpha and for theta is equal to alpha just we will put normal is equal to 0 and this normal is equal to 0 from here v square will be rg cos theta so this is one relation v square is rg cos theta and theta is equal to alpha so v square is equal to rg cos alpha now we have to calculate v naught and v square is calculated v can be related with v naught by energy conservation since there is no slipping energy is conserved from conservation of energy from conservation of mechanical energy there is a gain in kinetic energy gain in kinetic energy is equal to loss in potential energy and kinetic energy for this kind of uh, motion of pure rolling motion for a sphere for this cylinder expression of kinetic energy we can write it as it is half mv square this is translation kinetic energy plus half icm into omega square and at each instant omega is equal to v by r so half mv square plus half icm is mr square by 2 omega square is v square by r square from here we can say that the kinetic energy the kinetic energy is 3 by 2 mv square the total kinetic energy rotational plus translational this is 3 by 2 of mv square so gain in kinetic energy we can write 3 by 2 mv square minus 3 by 2 mv naught square loss in potential energy center of mass has gone down and this vertical displacement of center of mass this will be r cos theta and this total is r so this vertical displacement of center of mass is equal to r minus r cos theta so loss in potential energy is mg r is common 1 minus cos theta and this theta can be written as at this critical point it can be written as alpha v square is also known rg cos alpha for v square we can put rg cos alpha m will get cancelled and from all this equation we can find the value of v naught and the value of v naught will be under root gr by 3 7 cos alpha minus 4 and this will be the maximum value of v naught so this is the final answer to this problem uh, there is one correction and this this is not 3 by 2 basically this is 3 by 4 as it is half mv square plus 1 by 4 mv square this will be 3 by 4 mv square and we have to put here 3 by 4 and now the final answer is this